Well, Heather, first of all, how did it feel to get in there against somebody like back that you had some bad blood with coming into it? Uh, <laughs> it was amazing, you know, and again, once I got in there, it wasn't about bad blood, it wasn't anything. I was really just concentrating on um, and winning that fight, performing at my best, and it didn't matter who was in, in front of me, I was going to fight, you know, the best fight I could. And uh, how did you feel about that performance, being your UFC debut and all? Did you feel like you got everything in that you wanted to show tonight? Um, I don't think I got everything I wanted to show. I've been really working my takedowns, and um, I've been really doing uh, some amazing stuff in, in the gym, and I, I wasn't really able to do uh, what I wanted completely. But, you know, I think I... Uh, I did good the first two rounds and sealed the deal there and then, uh, you know, kind of sat back a little bit on that third, didn't take too many chances. I also couldn't see very well, um, you know, at some point in the second. So um, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to miss a shot and actually get knocked out and lose a fight. Well, you had found out on the show that you had the ACL tear. How did this camp go knowing that you had that injury? Actually, you know, um, with my amazing uh, coach and, and coaches and, and team behind me, I, I really didn't feel my ACL too much. You know, I, I took it slow and I was smart about everything and I actually only felt it slip out twice and it was with a leg kick. Mm -hmm. So I told myself, okay, no leg kicks in the fight, you know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it actually wasn't as big of a hinder, hindrance as, as I thought it would be. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky and blessed and I didn't feel it at all tonight, so it's great. How, were there any emotions coming into this fight aside from, you know, the usual UFC jitters? But considering everything, all the drama that was in the house, did you have to check your emotions before stepping in? Uh, not so much tonight, but definitely over the last couple of weeks, I, I definitely had to check my emotions and, you know, with some of the, the, the things that she was posting and stuff. And um, I, I definitely, you know, it was like about myself getting emotional and, and I told myself, no, it's just another person. It's, you know, she wants um, to win her debut and, and I want to win it more. So I, I really just pushed harder in this camp than I ever have in any, any, any camp because this meant the world to me. You know, this is, this is my ticket to, to make myself stay here in this, in this uh, um, organization. This is where I want to be. This is my dream and uh, I did it. <laughs> How do you feel after everything that you've been through with the show? Um, there were some negative comments towards you, not just by cast members, but people outside. There were also people that were supporting you. So now that it's all said and done, how do you feel? Um, the people that said, you know, nasty things, uh, I'll pray for them and then hope that they come to their senses. And for the people that have supported me, um, you know, it, it's funny because I got a lot of comments over the last couple weeks uh, people saying you know at first we didn't like you and you know please forgive us because now we're big fans and um, I think people if they haven't come around they, they definitely will when they uh, when they see the, the performance tonight and also just continue to see my humbleness and, and my desire to uh, to stay here. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, can I ask you, um, you say it means the world to you, um, what do you think it means to the world and for women out in the world to see you girls go out there and fight in this way and have a series like you've just had? Um, I think it gives them hopefully, you know, some inspiration to, you know, even if they're not athletes, but they're striving to be artists or doctors or lawyers or even just school teachers or whatever it is. I don't mean even just school teachers. They probably have the hardest job out there. But, um, you know, it just it gives them uh, faith to, to believe to believe, like I say, to go out and, and live their dreams and, and to and not be scared to take risks and, and do what they love to do. You know, I think uh, this is a pretty hard job, and, and I think if we can go out there and do this, I think people can go out and do whatever it is that they want to do. So There's a very pretty version of you right behind you on the poster um, <laughs> right now, yes, which you'll look like in a couple of weeks' time, obviously. Yeah. Um, what's your message to women who have perhaps wanted to do what you do, but have maybe been scared to be called muscular or called a freak or what's your message to those women that want to get involved? Don't listen to any negativity from anybody you know you have to go out there and and try it try some boxing try some jujitsu try whatever it is um, and, and see how you like it you know you can't I've had a lot of negativity as you all know in this show and you know I never let it get to me I never let um, them you know pull me down or, or stop me from believing in myself and you know you got to believe to believe in yourself first and you know get around those people that are um, are that do believe in you and people that will stand by you and, and be positive and, and and cut out those negative people because you know they don't have a right to be in your life